Welcome to an introduction to chemistry brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. You can find more information about Parkbench Tutors on Facebook. In this podcast we are going to look again at molarity and how to do certain calculations on molarity. The essential relationships that we need to look at are that molarity is equal to the number of moles divided by the number of litres of solution. In other words, molarity is the moles per litre. So in the same way, if we look at litres of solution, litres of solution will be the number of moles divided by the molarity, and the number of moles will be the litres of solution multiplied by the molarity. Now, if you understand those three basic equations, you should be able to do most of the calculations that are required here. Let's take a typical one, a very common one for laboratory technicians. They're asked to make up stock solutions where they've got x grams of solute dissolved in y litres of the solvent, which is usually water. How do they do these calculations? What's required? Well, they need to make up solutions from stock solutions very often, and the opposite of course is that they may have to dilute a solution to make another solution of a known concentration. So how do they do this? Let's take a typical problem. To calculate the amount of molar NaOH solution needed to make 100 mils of 0.5, a half molar sodium hydroxide aqueous solution. So to make it simple we're going to to look at it in two ways. First of all, how many moles are needed and secondly, what volume of the stock solution contains that number of moles. So our first step then is to calculate the number of moles of NaOH needed for 100 mils of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide aqueous solution. So molarity, remember, is the number of moles divided by the litres of solution so we have, if we put our information into the equation, we have 0.5 moles and we're looking for the number of moles, that's M, and we're going to divide by the number of litres of solution. Well, 100 mils is 0.1 litres. So if I solve for M, M is going to be equal to 0.5 divided by 0.1. One, which is going to be 0.05 moles of sodium hydroxide. So we now need to know the volume of sodium hydroxide aqueous solution, which is one molar, that contains that number of moles. Okay, so molarity is the number of moles divided by litres of solution. Litres of solution will be the number of moles divided by the molarity. And we know then the number of moles that we require and we know the molarity of the solution so we found that our number of moles required was 0.05 and our molar solution was 1 so our litres of solution will be 0.05 divided by 1 which will be 0.05 litres ok let's try another one of these the amount of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution needed to make 250 mils of 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So remember, same steps, how many moles are needed, what volume of the stock solution contains that number of moles. Okay, how many moles of sodium hydroxide are there in 250 mils of 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide? Right, the, what we need then is that molarity is equal to number of moles divided by litres of solution. So 0.05 is equal to the number of moles divided by, OK, we want 250 mils, so 250 over 1,000 to turn that into litres, which will be 0.25 litres. So the number of moles will be equal to 0.05 times 0.25, so the number of moles there is 0.0125. OK, we're ready for the next step. We require the amount of stock solution then that contains 0.0125 moles. So we're going to use litres of stock solution equals moles of solute divided by the molarity of the stock solution. 
we know that we require 0.0125 moles and we know the molarity of the stock solution is 0.5 so we're going to divide the moles of solute by the molarity of the stock solution and that will tell us how many liters of solution we need and the answer to that is 0.025 liters so we have 25 mils of stock solution all right so that's the amount you have and then you would then make that up to the required amount so just to, to be clear let's try calculate the amount of 1.4 molar solution needed to make 800 mils of 0.5 molar solution same steps again how many moles are needed and what volume of the stock solution contains that number of moles so we start in the same way molarity equals the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution so we have moles of solute will be equal to 0 0.5 times 0 0.8 which is 0 0.4 moles of solute that's how much that we need in terms of moles so what volume of stock solution has that number of moles right the liters will be equal to the moles of solute required divided by the molarity of the solution we require 0 0.40 moles the uh, stock solution is 1.4 so 0 0.40 divided by 1.4 gives 0.286 or 0.29 liters so we are going to have 290 mils of stock solution required okay think of it this way how much stock solution of 0.5 molar is needed to make 8000 milliliters of a 0.4 solution now we've just used X because what we're trying to show here is that the calculation is actually independent of the solute here so remember same steps how many moles are needed what volume of the stock solution contains that number of moles so the moles that we are needed the moles of solute required will be equal to 0.4 that's the molarity that we require and 8,000 over 1,000 to turn it into litres which will mean 0 0.4 times 8 which will be equal to 3.2 moles of solute so the litres of stock solution required now will be equal to the moles of solute divided by the molarity of the stock solution or 3.2 divided by 0 0.5 which is 6.4 litres or 6,400 millilitres of stock solution that's how much is required okay what happens if we want to go into the other direction how much sodium hydroxide do we need to add to a litre of 0.5 molar solution to get a litre of 2 molar solution of sodium hydroxide there is one assumption in all of the calculations when you go the other way and that is the assumption that the required solution is not going to be saturated so are moles needed moles of solute in the required solution will be equal to the molarity of the required times the volume of the required so we want two moles times one will be equal to two moles of solute moles of solute in the original will be equal to the molarity of the original times the liters of the original 0 0.5 times one is 0 0.5 so the moles of solute required then will be two less how much there is 0 0.5 or 1.5 moles of solute okay so we've got to turn that 1.5 moles of solute now into a particular amount in other words we've got to turn it into a mass that we can measure out so how much sodium hydroxide in 1.5 moles so moles of solute is the mass of the sample divided by the molar mass so the mass of the sample equals the moles of the solute times the molar mass now we've got our equation which we can use to calculate that so the mass required is 1.5 times the molar mass of sodium hydroxide so we now need to know the molar mass of sodium hydroxide and that will be 23 plus 16 plus 1 what we're doing is now adding the atomic masses for sodium oxygen and hydrogen there so it's 1.5 times 40 and of course 1.5 times 40 is 60 so we require 60 grams of sodium hydroxide 
That ends this session on Molarity Calculations, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. Thank you for watching and for listening, and we wish you success in your studies. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, look us up on Facebook or visit parkbenchtutors.com. If you sign up on uh, parkbenchtutors.com, in some cases we have access to more resources. Thank you.